What is up my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. Over the weekend I went to a reptile expo and I got a few new additions including a new tarantula. So I took a little bit of footage at the show I wanted to show you guys plus my new additions. But before we get into that I have a few shout outs. First thank you so much Sebastian for being my first Patreon. Also a big thank you to Dave, Russ, Wyatt, Emma, Haley, Mikel, and Kent for also joining my Patreon and being among the first. It means so much to me and I'm so happy to use this new platform to be more interactive with some of you guys. So having said that, yes, I did start a Patreon. This is something that I've thought about doing for a while and I've been asked about a few times, but I never really was sure when the right time was. Now kind of feels right. And I also have ideas of a lot of things that I would like to do or improve on. So basically, if you are interested in joining my Patreon, I will link it down below. There are different perks for each tier. So basically, there is that opportunity now if you want to join, if you want to help more, if you want more interactive content or exclusive updates, that'll all be posted there. I'm really enjoying the platform so far. Okay, that's enough. Let's get into the expo footage.
Okay, my dudes, let's talk about what I picked up from the St. Louis Reptile Show. So first of all, I got a bunch of annoying, stinky crickets. Definitely not my favorite feeder, but Magic Frog and Hypnotoad really love crickets, and so who am I to deny them that delicacy? Okay, and yes, I did get a pair of Madagascar hissing cockroaches. <laughs> I was really happy that Spider Collector had one of these. This is a Hapalopus species Columbia. I'm not sure if this is the large or the small version. If you've been here a while, you know that I have the large version and he is now a mature male. I actually grew him from a teeny tiny sling into a mature male and he is going away on vacation to meet a babe. So I was very upset about that, especially around Halloween, giving away my pumpkin patch, but no worries because we have a new one, a teeny tiny baby one. Hopefully this one's female, so cross your pedipalps for that. Okay, and this is something that I did not pick up from the show. This was actually given to me from some stranger online. Thank you, random stranger online. They posted it in a reptile group and said that they found this and they didn't think it was native but it is actually native. This is the Eastern Hercules beetle, and this is a male. So very cool, but don't get attached to him because he's probably gonna die soon. They don't really live long once they become a beetle, sometimes just weeks, and if you haven't noticed, he's very beat up. Honestly, one of the main reasons why I wanted him was because I wanna preserve him. So once the time comes, at least there's a silver lining, and we can preserve him and have his legacy live on as the horny beetle he is okay <laughs> but yeah i wanted to rehouse him really quick because i put him in the smaller acrylic box temporarily to hold him and he is noisy and active and he kept clinking against the acrylic so i put him in a giant critter keeper and honestly it's been a few days i don't i, I haven't heard him like i don't even know if he's alive it's been a minute he was burrowing and i i don't know but yeah, he's somewhere in the dirt right now, so hopefully we see him soon. All right, so because I rehoused the Hercules beetle into the larger critter keeper, I thought I would put the Madagascar hissing cockroaches in the smaller one for now. If they do start a colony, however, I will probably move them to like an Exoterra or something cool like that. But for now, this is more than appropriate. And yeah, I've been feeding them blueberries. They're so freaking cute. I don't care what anybody says. Sorry, mom. These are my pets and I love them. I also wanted to rehouse my Hapalopus species Columbia because it was in this deli cup and I kept losing it. Every time I would look in there, I would be like, oh my gosh, it's gone forever. So I actually had this little vial that I put it in and during the rehousing, Surprisingly, it let me handle it. And I think it's because it's super tiny and it realizes that I'm the dominant creature. So it went for a walk on my hand, I guess. But yeah, really gentle spider, really happy. My mature male is like the most skittish spider I think I've ever seen. So I was really pleasantly surprised how easy it was to get this teeny tiny sling in the vial. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not a want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. Oh, and if you want to join my Patreon, like I said, links below. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again. <laughs>